Hey, what's up traders? It's Trader A. I want to do a really quick video. I have been trading off and on. Haven't been in the Discord much just because of work and busy with life and just can't multitask that much. However, um, I did happen to be in there on Friday. This past Friday was my birthday and of course I wanted to spend it with you all and um, it was a very fruitful time we were actually discussing in the discord utilizing multiple time frame analysis and so yesterday i was able to take a couple of trades kind of using it i don't have any set parameters or procedures for it that's really not my area I'm really just using it for myself just to get more confluence to maybe say, yes, this is a good trade. Yes, this is an entry, maybe even find another entry. So I'm um, looking at my chart here. This is the five minute chart. This is about 920, so 1020 Eastern Standard Time, 920 Central Standard Time. We have a nice bar here on the um, five minute gold line so this is my five minute chart over here and my one minute chart over here so on the one minute gold line we were kind of approaching i'm sorry on the one minute chart we were kind of approaching the um the one minute gold line didn't quite even get there however because we had this absolutely beautiful penetration on the five minute goal line on the five minute chart that gave me confidence to go ahead and enter this trade so the next bar on the five minute candle was like a flush down so that would have been the 925 candle and so here um we did get another red bar as well so that was a trade that I was able to take to the short side, even though um, it wasn't a perfect setup in terms of, you know, it didn't necessarily penetrate the goal line and it wouldn't have been a perfect setup anyway because of um, we didn't have a new low or any of those things. But in terms for me looking for a short because we're under the five minute red line we're under the five minute gold line you know i felt like we should have some continuation and i could get a trade from that so it's it's not ideal bob trade so to speak i mean it is along those lines because i guess it's bob with a twist but it's just my attempt to utilize multiple multiple time frame analysis to get confluence on a trade and so that's what i was able to do basically i mean we definitely had a clear setup on the five minute chart and so i noticed that a few more times yesterday too where we just had a clear setup on the five minute chart where we didn't have one on the one minute chart and i just went ahead and took it on the five minute chart so um, my actual entry on this one was on the one minute chart but I could have put it on the five minute chart either way. Um, let's see, would it have been the same? So here the entry on the five minute chart would have been 89.93. And on here, let's see, actually y'all, let's see here. Oh yeah. So actually, yeah, my entry was up here. Yeah, my entry was right here. This was a later, a later case. Yeah, actually my entry was here. So it allowed me to be able to enter way up here based on this bar on the five minute chart. See, 89.92 would be underneath that green bar and 89.92 here is up here and that's where my entry is you can see that little dot right there i entered at 89.91 and so i was able to take that down so basically i took the trade based on the five minute chart five minute goal line 
because I did not have that set up. I did not have that set up on the one minute chart. But I just took it over here, just found out what the entry was and tried to match it over here. And it ended up being right here. So um, that's how I was able to find an entry. And again, I'm not trying to force trades or anything. But I am trying to find um, good setups. So I did feel like it was a good setup because it is a good setup on the five minute chart. But I just took it on a one minute chart. So that's pretty much it. That's all I have to offer at this point. Um, sorry, I can't be of more help. Like I said, I'm just a struggling trader myself on my journey that as I can, I'm sharing my journey, maybe give you guys some ideas. Maybe some of y'all can help Cody look at this multiple time frame analysis more um, mechanically in the Discord in terms of back testing it and all of that. Me, I'm just more of a freestyle. I just, just, you know, just trying to see what works. I mean, I've been dodging multiple time frame analysis for three years, so. It's about time for me to give it a good shot. And um, thanks to all of you all who were in the Discord with me on Friday, celebrating my birthday with me because that is truly what I wanted to do is hang out with y'all. I mean, it's what I would do every day if I could, if I didn't have a job. You know, I would probably, you know, do some type of live stream or, or even if it was a recap every day, but I just can't do it. But, um, Everybody in there was so helpful looking at the multiple time frames. I think CC Trades was in there and um, a bunch of others were in there also kind of looking at these things, Cody too. So um, it was just, um, it was just nice. I mean, you know, we've got to figure out what works. Everybody has to figure out what works for, for them. So um it's time to look at multiple time frame analysis. So, I mean, I look at multiple time frame analysis. I look at other stuff too. Obviously, Bob's trades are my main trades. But, you know, Bob has a lot of knowledge. He has a lot of knowledge. He knows about multiple time frame analysis. He knows about two-leg pullbacks. He knows about pivots. He knows about a lot of stuff. So, I mean, we have to make sure we know about a lot of stuff too so that our trades can have context context in terms of overall market structure, multiple time frame analysis, and all of that. So thanks to all of you who um, are in the Discord sharing your experiences, your knowledge, just being there to support other traders. Um, thanks for all of you who support this channel. Thank you for um, using my affiliate link for Apex. They do have the 80% sale going on right now. So um, Thank you for using that to support the channel. If you do, let me know. And um, I hope everybody has a great trading week. Have a great day. Trade well, and I will see you next time.